In exercise 1.218, you're given a variety of simultaneous equations and asked to solve them using either the elimination method or the substitution method. Now, in this uh, first instance here in 18a, this is clearly a substitution case. I'm going to substitute y is equal to 5x minus 1 into 2. So if I do that, therefore, x plus 2 lots of 5x minus 1 is equal to 9. 11x minus 2 is equal to 9. 11x is equal to 11. So therefore, x is equal to 1. To find what y is, I'm going to substitute y, sorry, x is equal to 1 into 1, and that therefore becomes y is equal to 5 times 1, take 1, y is equal to 4. My answer, x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 4. I'd now like to take you through how you can use your calculator to do exactly the same problem. On my main screen, I bring up the keyboard, and you'll see a little curly bracket with two bars there. Press that. And then I simply enter the equation as I see it. So y is equal to 5x, take 1. And x plus 2y is equal to 9. And I'm solving that for x comma y. And you can see there x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4. Now, at this point, you will be able to choose to use your calculator to check any of the problems you're doing, but you might also like to try to do it in, say, case D or E, so you can see how it works. They're not realistic ones to solve normally without your calculator. In 18b, you're best off using the elimination method. best thing to do is to look at the lowest common multiple of 3 and 8, which is going to be 24, and 5 and 2, which is going to be 10. So I'm going to choose 10. So 2 by 1, and then 5 by 2. So multiplying the first equation through by 2, and multiplying the second one through by 5, <coughs> excuse me, I've got 40x uh, plus 10y is equal to negative 60. I'm now going to subtract those two from each other. So negative uh, 8 take, take 60 will give me 52. Positive, actually positive 68. And I'll have uh, negative 34. X is equal to 68. Or X, therefore, is equal to negative 2. I then substitute X is equal to negative 2. And I'll substitute that into equation 1. So y is equal to 2. So my answer is therefore x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 2. In 18c, this clearly involves substitution. I'm going to substitute x is equal to 5 plus y over 2 into the second equation. So therefore, minus 4 lots of 5 plus y over 2, take 3y is equal to 35. So negative 20, um, take 2y, take 3y is equal to 35. Transposing, negative 5y is 55, and y is equal to negative 11. So to, in order to find out what x is going to be, I substitute y is equal to negative 11 into 1. And when I do that, um, x is equal to 5, take negative 11 over 2, and that's going to be negative a half as my answer, y is equal to negative 11. Now 
what I've done now is to enter this into the simultaneous equation solver in my calculator. Um, I'm going to use the fractional key in order to help me out there. And I'm solving this for x and y, so x comma y. Enter, and you can see there I get three quarters and two thirds is my answer. If I'd done that in a decimal notation, 0.75 and 0.666, etc., we tend to write our answers in this course in fractional form. So please get used to using the calculator to at least check. There will be times where you need to use pen and paper methods, and other times where you have to use your calculator.